Hello Real Estate, George here, Unit Manager from Philippine Homes and a PRC accredited and the HSUD registered salesperson. So today we are very excited because for a very long time, we have been waiting for this project and I am talking about the newest project that's gonna happen in Panglao Bohol and the project name is Costa Mira Beach Town Panglao. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the Costa Mira project, they just launched Costa Mira Mactan last year and the first two towers was sold out in days and the same concept is now gonna launch in Bohol. But before that, if you are a buyer, I'm gonna teach you how you can secure a unit in Costa Mira Panglao as early as now. This video will be to teach you in terms of how to secure a priority number when this project will be launched. So the announcement from CLI is that this coming November 2, they will already start accepting letter of intent and reservation requirements for priority number of the project Costa Mira Panglao. Take note that they will only accept requirements online. Now let's try to break it down. When we say LOI or letter of intent, it is a non-binding agreement that outlines the terms of a sale or a lease contract. Its purpose is to have a draft agreement to make a finalized contract later. What this means is that as a buyer, you will signify your interest to purchase a unit at Costa Mira Panglao when the actual reservation happens. Why do we need to get a letter of intent instead of the actual reservation process? The reason for that is because of the issuance of the license to sell or LTS. Developers use the letter of intent while waiting for the release of the license to sell from the HSUD because they cannot sell a project without the license to sell. So in lieu of that, they will accept letter of intent so that they can check first if the buyers have complete requirements so that when the actual reservation happens, it will be fast flowing. And then we move on to the indicative price. Now, this is very important, especially for first-time buyers that is planning to buy a project that is still in the letter of intent process because the indicative price does not automatically mean the final price when the LTS is released or when the total contract price is released. What it means is that from the time that the letter of intent was issued or is accepted, this is the prevailing price. And just like what I mentioned, um, this is submission of letter of intent and the requirements, basic requirements. So for this project, here are the basic requirements. Signed letter of intent, signed buyer's information sheet, signed SPA for broker and agents, one valid ID with three specimen signatures, including the spouse if married, tax identification number with proof of either of this TIN card, TIN verified slip with stamp, COR or certificate of registration, or income tax return or ITR. This might vary per developer because there are developers that would require two valid IDs and for the TIN number, it's just verified TIN. Now, we talk about letter of intent. So this is how, or this is what the letter of intent will look like. And this is what you will sign and submit to the developer. So the details are here indicating the units available, and that will be studio, one bedroom and two bedroom, the reservation fee, the total floor area, the indicative price, and the indicative monthly equity. Now, I will just read this so that you will understand what the letter of intent is. So, dear sir and madam, please notify me if and when the following unit in your upcoming Costa Mira Beach Town Panglao condominium Towers 1 and 2 project becomes available for sale. So, even with the letter of intent, you will know how many towers will be open and that will be 2 towers. I hereby acknowledge that this letter neither constitutes an option contract nor a binding obligation on the part of CLI Light Panglao Inc. to sell the foregoing unit to me, there being no agreement of such nature nor as to its selling price as of this writing. So it's very clear that it's just indicative price for now. 
I likewise acknowledge that this letter only entitles me to a right of priority to buy and be notified when the above unit becomes available and that I shall tender the full reservation fee within five days from receipt of notice by phone or email otherwise I shall forfeit my right of priority so the letter of intent is just for you to be able to have that priority number when this project will be launched now for the business information sheet which is the sheet number two that you need to fill up so basically this is your personal information sheet that you can get from your agent indicating your personal information including your tin employment and monthly salary or business net income and then the last one is the special power of attorney so why do we need a special power of attorney now this is to authorize your agent or your broker to reserve sign countersign submit process and receive any documents such as term sheets and reservation agreements and other papers or instruments required by Cebu Land Masters to reserve and purchase in your name the units identified below. SPAs are very important especially if you are abroad or cannot be there during the actual processing of requirements. The agent or your agent will also be allowed through the SPA to get those documents and send it to you or even to submit documents back and forth so that it will be more convenient for you as the buyer. Aside from these three, just like what I mentioned, they will also require one valid ID and a TIN verification. So the process. So this is how it will go. Step one is you fill up the accomplished letter of intent and gather the basic requirements. And you can request that from your agent or if you do not have an agent, you message me and I will send you the form so that it will be convenient for you to fill up and I will be the ones that will submit that which is part of step number two which is the submission of requirements so it will be your agent that will submit that requirements and you can ask them to copy you on the email so that you can also monitor the progress and make sure that the agent you are choosing is registered by PRC and accredited by DHSUD because this developer will not accept reservation from agents that are not registered under PRC and DHSUD. So take note of that. Third step is the office will review the requirements, make sure that it is complete, and when they, and when they determine that it is complete, then they will give you the priority number. And then your priority number will be used during the actual conversion and unit selection. Just to take note that unit selection will depend on the availability at the time of your priority number is served. And then the other reason why this developer always have projects that will be sold out very fast is because of this price increases for the first 100 buyers. Now, there is no word yet if this will still be implemented for this project, but based on the history, of the launching of their projects this is always observed that's why it's very important for you to be able to be part of the first 100 buyers so that you can get the introductory price of this project and then priority number will only be given for complete requirements i have already mentioned that the other good thing here is there's no holding fee required so that will be it and you know i'm really hoping that if you are really serious or if you're really determined to finally own that beach property, especially in Panglao Bohol, you can secure a priority number. So that would be all. Now, if you're looking for photos or the exact location, I think there can be other videos or you can check for it in Facebook about the location and the photos. I cannot show it yet because the project is still pending for the license to sell. Okay, so more videos will happen or I will provide you more videos once we get more details. But for now, this is just to educate you in terms of how to go about getting or reserving a unit at Costa Mira Beach Town, Panglao. So that will be all for now. Again, this is George Ryan Sarmago, Unit Manager from Philippine Homes. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay at home, and peace.